Okay, welcome back. We are learning the Sefer Petuch Echotam from Rabbeinu Yaakov Avichat Sira, and it, it is Parshas Vayikra. And wow, what a beautiful remez Rabbi Yaakov teaches us here. Something so important for us to remember every Shabbos Kodesh. We're able to get back to a level like Ma'an Taira, like what it was like for the Jews to be standing at Har Sinai, like Adam Rishon. Listen to what Rabbi Yaakov says. So we got to remember a little bit, when the Yidin came out of Mitzrayim, they were like shocked. Like, wow, what an experience, revelation of the Kodesh Baruch Hu. And then they had 50 days to build themselves back up to, re- to be able to get to receive the Torah, to work on it for, on their own, to be able to reach the Torah. And they actually were misakin the Chet of other Marishan, so to speak. They got back to the level of what it was like without having an internal Yitzhahara. It was amazing. And this was the level they were on when they got the when they got the Torah. They got those crowns that signified that special level that they were on when they reached Matan Torah. Unfortunately, not too long after that they fell. And there was the Chet Egel, And they lost their crowns. And they lost what they got. And that feeling of what other Mauritian felt like after the Chet Egel, they felt that again. They felt that again, that, that you know, they had that internal struggle again, that which we are so familiar with, that came back to them. Now, Rabbi Yaakov brings from the uh, Shari Kavonis, the Shari Kavonis. I'm just going to read it here because I couldn't find it to post for you. He says, B'Shosh Zacham Aish Rabbeinu Olav Hashem L'Kabal Sater Meis Hashem. At the time that Moshe received the Torah from Hashem, Zacha Yachad Ima Lakabal Gam Elef Chelkei Oira. Moshe Rabbeinu got a thousand portions of light. Besides the Torah, he had some ur, some some like, but not like a little bit of ur. We, we can imagine, like you know, we refer to Ruchni as, as ur as a spiritual light. Moshe Rabbeinu got like a thousand po- point portions of that ur. That's big. That was like huge. And when the Kali Yisrael sinned. Not only did Kal Yisrael fall, the Jewish people, Moshe Rabbeinu also did, because he was Zeicha, he was fortunate to get his levels, because that's what Am Yisrael needs. And he went down, he lost 999 levels of R, and he was only left with one. Rabbi Yaakov says, this is Merumah, in the beginning of this week's parasha. Terry says, Vayikra al-Moshe, Kadosh Baruch Hu calls to Moshe Vidabar Hashem, I love my El Mayed Leimar. You know, in my text here, it's not the way it appears in the uh, in the Torah, but in the Torah, the word Vayikra is spelled a little funny. It says Vayikra, but the Aleph in Vayikra is small. It's called an Aleph Zeira. It's a small Aleph. And Rabbi Yaakov says, you know what that Aleph, that small Aleph represents. Well, an Aleph Zeira, the word Aleph, the word Aleph itself, it means Aleph, it means a thousand. And Aleph also means one. The small Aleph is there to represent that Moshe Rabbeinu had a thousand. And now he only has one. Okay, look at that R. He lost 999. That's why there's a small Aleph in the beginning of this week's parasha. When Kodesh Baruch Hu calls to Moshe, Vayikra al Moshe, it's with a small olive. It's not on the level that he was at. But the, the uh, Rav Chaim Vital tells us, but this was only during the week. On Shabbos Kodesh, Moshe Rabbeinu gets back all Elif Iris. And that's called the Neshama Yisera. And we also get a Neshama Yisera. And uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, when he gets his Neshama Yisera, he doesn't keep all that light to himself. He shares it with us as well, because Moshe, all he has is for Kal Yisrael. And even after all he's been through with us, he wants to share with us. So Moshe gives us from those thousand oiris. He gives to us also every Shabbos Kodesh. That's what the Rem is here. He says, Rabbi Yaakov, Yismach Moshe. Moshe is so happy, but Matnas Chalkai. 
What's Matnas Chalke? What is the the the, the chilek, the portion that Moshe Rabbeinu gets on Shabbos? He gets his light back. The light that he was zeichet to a Kabbalah Satera, he gets back. But because Ki Evan Neman because Moshe is a faithful shepherd, he's a faithful servant, he doesn't keep that to himself. But rather, he shares with us. Khalil Tiferes, from that crown that was given, that was that you gave to him on his head, when he stood at Harsinai, he shares that with each and every one of us. So now let's take a look at this remez. Vayikra al Moshe, HaKadosh Baruch Hu calls to Moshe. And we said, Vayikra al Moshe, the small elf symbolizes what Moshe Arena lost. And if you take Vayikra al Moshe, the gematria of each of those letters, equals 693. And you add 10, because there are 10 letters in Vayikra al Moshe. That gives you 703. Shabbos, with the koil, means the word for, for the word itself, gives you 703. So in the Vayikra al Moshe, there's a remez, that yes, even though during the week there's a small aleph, but on Shabbos Kodesh, he, he gets it all back. He gets everything back and he shares it with all of us. Yismach Moshe, b'mat neschalke, Yismach Moshe. When is Moshe happy? Yismach Moshe also equals 703. It equals Shabbos with the Kail. Because it's on Shabbos. When Moshe Rabbeinu gets his R back, he gets the opportunity to share it again with us. That's the Vayikra, that's the little aleph that can become so big. Every Shabbos, we have that opportunity to tap in. Even though we may feel small during the week, we have the opportunity to tap into that great Aleph, that great R that Moshe Rabbeinu sends us. Have an awesome Shabbos.